Greetings, friends. I'm Geo Fatboy. What if I told you you could have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, GPS navigation on your motorcycle in a small display unit that mounts right to the handlebars by way of a U-bolt and two nuts? All you got to do, hook it up to the 12-volt power supply on your bike, and you're good to go. You could even pair it to your helmet. Here's a look. Carpy Ride W502. Works on your motorcycle, ATV, golf cart, anything with a 12 volt power supply, hook it up and you're good to go. Let's unbox it and have a look. This will be an unboxing and a review of the Carpy Ride W502. It works for motorcycles, ATVs, golf carts, or any other vehicle with a 12 volt power supply. It has a five inch waterproof touch screen. It provides Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, GPS navigation for motorcycle, supports dual Bluetooth, GPS, Siri, Google Assistant. Let's go around the box. Here's the top CarPuride IP67, that's the weatherproof, waterproof. It accepts CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth. Here's the front, waterproof navigator. Here's the side, and Here's what it looks like installed on the motorcycle. Anywhere on the handlebars where you have an open space, you just clamp it on, connect it to your 12 volt power supply on the motorcycle, and you're good to go. It has Bluetooth, it's IP67 waterproof. It has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility. It will accept an SD card, voice controls, and you can play music from it as well. Let's open it up and take a look. Nice foam padding to protect the screen. It comes with an instruction booklet. It comes with a wrench for installing it. Here's a look at the CarPuride unit. It's high definition, it's waterproof. Very, very simple installation. It has a ball mount socket on the reverse, and this bracket will fit over that. You just loosen the dial on the side, then tighten it back down, like so. And then this U-bolt will connect directly through your handlebars, anywhere you have an open space. It also comes with this handy wrench for tightening the nuts once you get it over your handlebars. These are nuts that will be tightened down to fasten it securely to your handlebars. You could also mount this to a wall or any stationary object if you wanted to do that as well. A long cord. This cord will be long enough to reach your battery terminals or wherever you decide to connect this to give it the 12 volt power. You can see it's got one black wire which is negative. It has one red wire which is positive and it's fused as well which is a good thing right here. This fuse is replaceable. You just pull it out, replace it, cover it back up. This is waterproof as well. So very simple installation. I'll remove it from the bracket just so we can have a look and it'll be easier to maneuver it. I'm going to tie this into the 12 volt power supply, which I have right here. I've got a negative and a positive alligator clip. We will hook it up. You would do the same thing on your motorcycle, hook the red to the positive. I'm just doing it here for demonstration purposes. Then you would hook your black to the negative terminal, like so. Now we should have power to the unit. Here's a look at the display unit. It says Carpuride at the bottom. There's a sticker on here for protection. I'll just leave it on for purposes of the demonstration. This sunscreen right here, this shield, will block the sun coming from directly above, making it easier for you to view the readout on the screen when you're riding. On the back you have the socket mount, nothing on this side, nothing on the bottom. Here's a look at the side. This is your memory card. You would just remove these two Phillips head screws and you can plug in your memory card reader right there. Here's the on off switch. Let's turn it on and energize it. Takes about two or three seconds to light up. Very quickly it's ready for action. Here's your home screen. Let's go through some of these features. Here's your iPlay. This is how you would pair for the wireless connection. Here's your Android Auto. This is the code that you would use to pair it. 
It has an equalizer for the music that you can scroll up and down with these buttons and you can adjust the music to your liking. Display off, display on. So if for any reason you just wanna turn this display off temporarily, you just hit that and then tap anywhere on the screen, it comes back on. Here's your Bluetooth. This is how you would pair it with your Android or Apple phone. And then all your contacts, everything would just sync right up and show on the screen. Here's your memory card. It says no device because we have no device plugged in, but you would plug it in right there. Bluetooth, you can transmit wirelessly via Bluetooth. And here are your settings. So you'll choose your language, English, Chinese, German, French, many other languages. The backlight from 10 to zero, just scroll back and forth, make it as bright as you want it. You can restore factory settings and this is your system version if you ever needed that. Back to the home screen. Here's your volume control. Just scroll left to right to set that. And here is a quick shortcut to the display, making it light or dark. And these look like different screensaver settings. You have several choices here. I'm going to pair it to my phone. It gives you a Bluetooth pairing request with a number so I'll hit pair. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. Allow it. And there you go. It's already activated that quickly. Here's all your features. It shows my favorites, home and work. Then you can do a search. You can enter destinations. This syncs up with your contacts. You can play music, your music library, your playlists, or radio. You can make calls by either pressing the button or saying, hey Siri, call so-and-so, and it will pick up on that. Here's the home screen. I have my work and home settings there. If we slide over, here's your iPhone. All your contacts on your phone will sync up. You can play music, your maps, messages, now playing, car home, audiobooks, and your calendar. All these will sync up with the Carpure Ride unit, so you can do these hands-free. Your settings, Duncan, a couple of your apps will show up, and you can choose which apps you want to add to it as well. Google Maps, Libby is an audiobook app, and Spotify. So you can do all these things directly from your phone into the Carpure Ride while you're riding, which is fantastic. Compact little unit, not very large. It will not affect your view while you're driving the motorcycle. It has this handy screen on the top, this sunscreen, to prevent the sun from shining directly down and reflecting off the screen. All in all, a really nice compact unit, very easy to install with the provided bracket. Very simple. And the power supply as well. Everything you need. I'm back. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Carpuride W502. Works on your motorcycle, ATV, golf cart, anything with a 12 volt power supply. Hook it up and you're good to go. If you want to pick one of these up, just click down below the video or next to it where it says show more and there's a link. You can grab it right there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends. Over 600 videos, shaving and more. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh. Looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.